Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we are going to start finishing up our tutorial because now we have made validations for every single one of our fields but we are also going to need a submit button at the bottom of our field and we do not want the user to be able to submit this form unless every single one of these inputs is valid. So. In order to do that, we are going to first need to make a button. So outside of the form, outside of the, all the form tags and all that stuff, I want you guys to make a button for me. So just say button. And then in here, let's say submit form. I can't type right now. Submit form. And let's see if that came up. Okay, so here you will see I have a button that's called Submit Form. Doesn't do anything, but now it's there. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to need a label that will be the area where we will have our prompt. So let's just say error in here. Okay, so here is where our error is going to come up. So what we want to happen is if the user clicks Submit Form, and any of these things are empty or any of these things are invalid in any way it will produce an error that will say this form needs to be valid to submit and then it will go away so it will only show that error for about two seconds and then it will go away but if it's valid when you click it it will submit the form alright so let's find out how to do that so we can take this out and let's add an ID here so this would be comment form prompt okay so this is where our prompt will um oh let's just call it comment prompt so this is where our prompt is going to go so in um javascript i need you guys to make me a new function so after all of our validates let's create a function called js show and it's going to take an id and in there, type this and I'll explain it, document dot get element by ID, and then put the ID in there, dot display, or I'm sorry, style dot display is a sign block. This is going to, um, oh, I forgot function. Okay. What this function is going to be able to do is a lot like this produce prompt thing. It's going to be a function that we utilize that will help us um, do things that we want to do multiple times by just calling this function. So what this is doing is it is scanning the document for an ID and it is going to display it if it's hidden. So the next one we want to make is function JS hide. Send it the ID and document dot get element by ID we'll send it the ID we'll say style dot display is assigned none these are functions that every single website should have something like this some people like to call it show hide uh, JS show JS hide whatever you want your name to be it doesn't matter but instead of typing this long thing every single time you want to show or hide something you'll just be able to type JS show and the ID and it will do it right on the spot so now I want you guys to add in another function call for me and just say function validate comment form and it's going to pass no parameters. So this is the function that we are going to utilize in order to validate the entire form and either print out a prompt that will say this is valid or print out a prompt that will say this is invalid. So now what we need to do is we need to add this to our index.jsp page. So we'll say on click do this. So when the user clicks this button you need to validate the entire form so how is he going to validate the entire form I will show you right now and then I will explain it just type in if um, not validate comment name or not uh, do, 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 validate phone was it Oh, it's just validate name. So we are going to write in all of those previous functions. So validate name or and then we have validate email or oh, don't forget our nots. 
And then the last one is going to be validate comment. Paste that in there. And in here, we will produce our prompt. So this is saying if any single one of these um, functions returns false, then that will mean that this is not valid. So that's the whole reason why we were putting in all these returns, return, 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 return. But every time it was true, we did return true. So if at any point any of these falses were thrown, so it will go through and it will check each function and see, is there a false, is there a false, if there are false, is there a false? Oh, I forgot my not here. So as long as all of these are true, all of them return true, then you will not do what's in here. But if any single one of these returns false, then you will do what's in here. That's why we use the or. Okay, and I'm not sure what that guy's doing chilling there. Okay, that looks good. So now what I want to do is I want to first show the comment prompt, um, the comment prompt uh, label. So I'm just going to say js show and I'm going to put that in there so now this will show that div okay the next thing we want to do is we want to produce our prompt so we'll say produce prompt and we will say form must be valid to submit and then we want to put it into the comment prompt. And then we want it to be read. So let's test this right now and see if at least that is working. Okay? So if we refresh the page and we try and submit, form must be valid to submit, but it stays there. And what we want to do is we want it to show us form must be valid to submit for two seconds and then go away. So, in order to do that, we're going to need to utilize a function called setTimeout. So, try this. Set timeout. And in here, we are going to have two parameters. The first one is going to be the function that we want to do. The second one is going to be how long do we want to wait before we do that function. So, function and then comma and then 2000 milliseconds so what this is saying is this is the function I want to do but I don't want to do it until you wait 2000 milliseconds that's what set timeout means so this is going to produce the prompt first we're going to show the div and then it will produce the prompt that will say hey this was an invalid input and then we want to hide this ID after 2000 milliseconds so all you will say is JS hide and you will pass that ID so this is the whole reason why we needed to show and make sure you have a semicolon at the end this is the whole reason why we had to show this div at the very beginning because what if the user did something wrong and then they hid the div then after that if we didn't show it again the next time we came through then this form would never see this part because if you hide something, then you can't see it again. So that's why the first step is always to show the div, then put the contents in the div, and then hide the div. Come back through, show the div, put the contents in the div, hide the div. It's just a whole circle. So if we save this, and we come back, we refresh the page, and we try to submit it without doing anything for must be valid to submit and then it goes away so it just tells the user you've done something wrong you need to check back with what the other what some of your prompts are and try again so now let's try and do some of these right and see what happens so if we type in uh, Chris Carrington and we type in a valid phone number of 888 -777 -66 Five, five, so that is valid and if we typed in um, doctor dot um, Wilson at gmail.com but then let's say we didn't type in the number of characters that we should so let's type in this is a very short comment let's see what happens we click this form must be valid to submit but if everything is valid then we would be able to submit the form. So what I usually do anytime I have a form 
is I'll have something like else, and then I will call a function, whoop, my computer's about to die, and then I would call a function that would say submit comment form. And I would actually do this with, with Ajax, and I would be able to grab all of these contents, and I would grab it, and then I would, and I would send it to this function that's called submit comment form. So that goes a little bit out of the scope of this tutorial. This tutorial is just teaching you how to do the validations. And the other tutorials I have, which teach you how to do Ajax, it will teach you how to um, send um, form data over an Ajax request. But just to so show you an example, I have um, another I have another JavaScript file um, that I've been working on. And if you see um, submit comment form here, you will see, and I have like Ajax objects in here, and I'm taking in all of the values that the user is typing in. This is what I'm going to show you how to do in some of the next tutorials that we are what we have coming up, and that's how to send information with a form with Ajax. So then you guys will have a really pimpin' form because it will be able to do all the validations, and then it will check if it's valid, and then if it's valid, it will take all that information, grab it, and then send it to wherever you want to send it with Ajax. And if you look, I even have that validate comment form here, and it's the same exact thing. So you see we check for all the values. You see I don't have phone here because I didn't have phone in the other form I was building. And then we show what we want to show. We put that information into the, into the uh, div, and then we hide it after 2,000 seconds. 2,000 milliseconds, excuse me. And then if it's all good, then we go to submit comment form, which uses Ajax to submit the form. So I hope you guys have liked this series. I hope it has taught you JavaScript and rejects and how to do all kinds of validations. So subscribe to me, stay tuned, and uh, so that you can see all of my tutorials on Ajax. And it will teach you how to use get and post requests with Ajax, and you will be an Ajax expert by the time you finish those tutorials as well. So if you guys have any comments, please comment below and let me know and I hope this tutorial was useful if it was useful to you too comment below and let me know and let me know I'm doing a good job or whatever so uh, thank you all for watching and I will see you guys in the next tutorials